Hey guys, so today I am finally back with another video and I am so sorry for the long hiatus. It was totally unplanned. Um, I have a bunch of stuff going on in my life right now and this is going to be a update and haul video. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the haul part first for those of you who are just interested in the fashion or um, the kind of like lookbook part and I'm gonna do the update towards the end for those of you who care about my life at all but if you were curious as to why I was gone for so long then um, stay tuned till the end so this is gonna be another online clothing haul and I received some items again from the normal places that I normally haul at and this dress that I'm about to show you guys. I'm really sorry it's sold out, but I will link the um, like their dresses down below as well and you can check out some other things. Really ambulance? It's I, like literally there were no background noises when I was filming the um, kind of like the try on shots and now of course there are as I'm filming. So anyways, um, this is the dress, and you will see it on, and I am in love. It is quite long on me, um, but I think with heels it'll be okay. Um, but I just love this print so much, as you can tell, it's very similar to what I'm wearing right now. And it's kind of like this, it's not a halter neck, but it's like the neckline is thinner than a normal strappy dress. And you'll see, really what I love is the back. And most of you know I do have back tattoos and not a lot of my clothing show off my back and that's kind of done purposefully like I like the fact that I can hide my tattoos when I want to with like a regular shirt but I also kind of like to show it off sometimes so clothing like this is like perfect for that and I think it looks good whether you have a tattoo or not so anyways that's one of the main things that pushed me to get this dress and also it's very long and flowy kind of like this chiffon type material and it's very flowy towards the end you can see the like the slits in the video and it's just so girly it's so fun it's not like you know I still like black but it's not you know too formal because of the pink and I just really like this print like I really want this in a tank top as well so I think next time I might try to choose like a tropical tank top because I'm totally into that as you guys can tell. I got this like last summer but and this is actually from Goodwill and it's totally an old lady tank top but I love it so that's kind of like my aesthetic for the summer. It's like chic old lady. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this. Um, I'm actually going to a wedding in September so um and it, it should still be warm enough because it's in north carolina so i'm hoping i could wear this but i don't know the protocol with wearing black i just know you're not supposed to wear white but let me know down below if you know anything about black like is that like not too good because it's like connotations with funerals um but it's like you know with pink and green so i was gonna just wear this i'm also gonna okay it with the bride too because i know her so obviously that but let me know down below if you know of any sort of like protocol with that because I honestly have no idea but yeah love this dress and then the next piece I got is now I'm just realizing also tropical print from Shein's, uh, Shein and it looks like this so it's a bikini bathing suit and I did not model this because I just didn't feel comfortable doing that so I hope you guys understand but it's like this nice light blue color with the pink flowers and the green leaves it's a very simple kind of tank top style uh, like sports bra style top and I liked it okay dog okay oh oh no not done I'll be right back okay the dog seemed to have stopped <laughs> that was ridiculous so I like this style of kind of tank top or sorry I keep saying tank top of um sports bra 
bikini because I do usually wear a bikini when I play beach volleyball even though we're like not near a beach it's just kind of like habit um but sometimes bikini tops are not meant for sports and I mean I don't have the biggest boobs but like stuff can shift around a bit when you're playing volleyball so I normally try to just wear sports bras um but I like this so I can be I can wear this as well and then the matching bottoms that look the same and it's the same print and these are like I get they're not too skimpy like I have ones that are even skimpier than this but they're definitely not like you know like the full bikini so keep that in mind if you um, maybe want something with more coverage or something with less coverage um, that's kind of like how it looks so yeah um, again everything will be linked down below and they have tons of varieties of swimsuits and they're so inexpensive and I just hate how a lot of stores like Victoria's Secret, I mean, I understand why they do this, where they sell the bathing suits separate, because I know a lot of people like to mix and match, but I think it's just an excuse for them to up the prices, because I don't see why you would pay over $30 for like a bikini top, and I have in the past, and it's like, honestly, those don't last longer, they pretty much wear the same, it's just kind of ridiculous to me, so that's why I love sites like Shein because everything is so inexpensive but the quality is like I mean you pay for what you get but it's like you're not it's not like a one use thing like I could definitely wear this like multiple times but it's just like some places really do mark up their prices by a lot and that bothers me but I'm ready for summer the next two pieces are from Romwe and let me just show you the one that is like kind of big for me first you'll be able to see in the video what I mean and it's this flowy tank top and it's I, I hope as you can see you can already see it's very boxy this is supposed to be a size extra small but I wonder if it's just one size because it doesn't say extra small anywhere on here but um, I mean it is meant to be loose no, it does say extra small, actually. It does say extra small, but it's kind of big. I was like, I mean, that's the smallest size you have, then it might not work, but for those of you out there who may want this but um, aren't sure what size to get, I would just go with the extra small because it's pretty big, like, depending on, like, how big you are, but I feel like, like this could be, like, a medium-large easily, so just for your information if you like this um and it's embroidered with roses which is a huge trend right now and i think it's interesting because um my roommate Dully, who was featured um in the last haul video she's three quarters mexican and in mexican culture like they use a lot of roses a lot of skulls a lot of like black and red and she was talking to us about it and she was like i totally noticed this and she's like she doesn't like really necessarily think it's cultural appropriation because it's kind of a trend but sometimes she's seen a couple outfits that are pretty out there that are like pretty insensitive to like mexican culture but i just thought that was really interesting and um i linked her this tank top and i was like is this cute and she was like yeah that's really cute so i don't think this is necessarily like cultural appropriation i really don't um like with this tank top particularly because i'm actually not even sure if those are roses those might even be like there's like Chinese flowers like I don't know what they're called um but yeah I just thought that was like funny so I don't know let me know down below your thoughts on that because I'm really interested in that topic but it's just sad that it was a little too big but I did get the smallest size so I mean what can you do right so yeah also I mentioned this in every video I think but they always are pretty good with putting their measurements online like the specifics of each size i just didn't happen to look because normally i am the smallest size but i think if i had looked i probably would have realized that it was too big but i mean you can see in the video i can kind of make it work with like that sort of um lacy bra underneath but we'll see so yeah but i do really like the embroidering and i think it's really really pretty and it's nice and silky as well Next is one of my favorite tops and I'm going to be wearing this to death in the summer. It's a very basic blue cropped ribbed top like that. It's kind of almost like a speckled blue even. Also, sorry about my nails. There are some that are missing. But yeah, it's a very simple kind of cut v-neck like that and I just wanted something simple for the summer um, to wear with like I have like some patterned 
shorts that I like to wear with like basic tops because if you wear too much pattern I just think it's too much for me but yeah so I kind of want to start a little collection of these sort of simple crop tops so I think next I'm gonna either pick up like a gray white or black one just to have as well um, because yeah it's really cute and I like the v-neck detail it's nice and cooling it's not too like stifling because I have one black shirt that's very similar to this but it's a round neck and it's sort of a higher neck and sometimes I just feel like suffocated while wearing it in the summer so yeah I really really like this one as well then lastly from make me chic I got two pieces um the first one they actually didn't have the size small they only have medium and large but I like the print so much that I got it anyways just to see if I could fit it and it looks like this has a nice pineapple on it how cute is that right again totally into this tropic trend like tropical trend right now loving it um so yeah this is a size medium and it is pretty big which was fine like i knew it was going to be a little bit big but you can see me modeling it but i actually just ended up giving this to eva because i know she's into these sort of shirts and it fits her really well and it fits her nice and loose as well so if you saw my last haul video with eva and dolly in it you can kind of see her body shape there so if you have similar body shape i would go ahead and get the medium and yeah more sirens oh joy you know i should just do a blooper video of every single time a siren has interrupted my, one of my videos that would be pretty obnoxious though, right? All right. Okay, so this next piece is a dress, and I haven't made my mind up on this yet. You'll see in the video that the sides are cut very low, so instead of wearing the bra that I'm wearing in the video, I might have to wear like a bandeau, because I think that would actually look pretty good. Um, it's just the silhouette of the dress it seems a little weird um but it is a longer dress and i do think with the cinched waist it looks pretty good um but you can also wear it without it just like nice and flowy on the model you can see on the site if you follow the, the link um it looks much tighter and i actually was expecting this to be more of that jersey material like a like a like a tighter fitting dress and when i got it i was like did i order this but um yeah so i was expecting more of like that jersey material but i can see like how it like i mean it's still i think it still looks good like i still like the pattern and it's very nice and airy which is good for like when it's a really hot day so i think i'm gonna try to make it work i'm just gonna wear like a bandeau underneath um and i think it looks fine so i would just keep that in mind that the sides are pretty low with this dress but overall like i do really think it's so cute so those are all of the clothing items that i recently got i have been so busy guys um so this is going to get into the update part so if you're if you don't want to hear me ramble on then you can go ahead and click out but for those of you who are wondering thank you for being patient um basically what happened is i got a new job started at a new job and it's a part-time job um i'm not gonna like disclose the name obviously because it's like in new york and most of you know that i live in manhattan so i don't want just for privacy reasons but it is a um school and i do administrative work for them i am their office manager so yeah it's a really really fun job i do a lot of scheduling managing um some accounting work um, a lot of like organizing and it may sound really mundane and sometimes it can be but i really really like it it's I think it fits really well with my what I'm good at and my skill set and especially as kind of an entry level job into education I think it's a great opportunity it's a very small team so I'm working really intimately with like the the starter like the founder of the company basically so that's really nice and I love it I love my job and it's really fun but I'm very busy now because I go right to work straight after class on Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then Thursday which is today is my only day that I work remote so I get to come home after class instead and um, last week I was just so exhausted I just slept for like hours on Thursday um, so I just haven't had time to film um, 
I barely have time for myself to just, you know, go play volleyball and things like that, um, because my job just doesn't, like, I, I have to manage stuff, so it's like, if something happens, I gotta, like, do it right away, so yeah, but I absolutely love it, it I'm having a blast, and I just wanted to let you guys know that videos will definitely not be that regular anymore, um, but I hope you guys understand that I'm a university student, school comes first, and now work comes second, and I still have to have a social life, and you know, um, one thing I like about most ASMR videos though is that you, there's not a huge component with like lighting, because I actually tend to like dimmer ASMR videos anyways, so I can kind of get away filming at night, um, so that's one good thing, but you know, with lookbooks, I obviously want to film during the day so that you guys can really see the clothing in natural light and things like that, which is why, um, recently that's like all i've been able to do but i hope you guys <laughs> sorry i feel like i'm talking really fast and i apologize i know some of you guys don't care but some of you always like to remind me to speak slower so i that's really mainly the reason why i've been so busy um and just some other things going on in my life that i want to keep private for the time being but um I will probably let you guys know soon, but anyways, let me see what else I can show you. I'll show you what's on my nails in case you guys are interested. It's right here, and it's a nail polish by Essie, and it's called Enough is Enough, but it's spelled kind of funky. Hold on, let's see if it'll focus for me. It's spelled like that. That's focusing but it's like this kind of orangey pink color. It's showing up very orange on camera, but in person it's just a little bit more pink. And you can see it on my nails. Um, I, it kind of scratched on other nails, sorry about that. I, that really, that probably really bothers some of you, but what can I do? And yeah, I just thought it was a fun summer color and it's all blue because another nail polish exploded all over all of my nail polishes so a ton of them just have this weird blue coating over them but that's where it's from so yeah, um, I'm trying to think if I have any other updates um, nothing really new with volleyball, just kind of the same old thing um, I do want to show you guys two books, actually. I'll just go ahead and do that now. They're on my bookshelf. Let me just grab them. So, you'll have to excuse, but one of them doesn't have the jacket cover because I took it off and I don't know where it is. But these are two books that I read for class, um, and my class is called American Social Movements, and it's one of my favorite classes. It's really awesome. And, um, yeah, so this is one of the books that we read for it called Poison Tea. And it's written by Jeff Nesbitt. And it says, How Big Oil and Big Tobacco Invented the Tea Party and Captured the GOP. So the reason why we were reading this is because we are talking about Donald Trump and the alt-right and the Tea Party. And um, this is obviously a book that sums up some of that. It's a very good read. I think it's fairly light, like I didn't think it was hard to read at all, like I finished it all in one night, and it's like 300, or it's like 200 something pages long, but yeah, I really like it, I think a good summary, well I'll just read a little bit, but it's basically how the Koch brothers, um, captured the GOP and kind of created this movement called the Tea Party Movement, and a lot of people, um, who don't necessarily know all the history of the Koch brothers and things like that might think that the Tea Party was kind of just a spontaneous movement in reaction to the Obama administration, but actually it was orchestrated, it was predetermined, and started way before Obama, so I think this book is really interesting because it, it gave me definitely a new view of the Tea Party and kind of like the backing, like the back workings. And just a little bit on Jeff Nesbitt, he actually worked for the Koch brothers and he kind of, it, it, this is a, is kind of like an expose, I would say, um, because he was in the thick of it, basically. But yeah, it's a really good book. I recommend it if you're into politics, history, social movements, any sort of genre like that. I think you would really enjoy it. Okay. 
then um, the next book is also in that vein of um, like the alt-right and, and um, the Tea Party and it's called Strangers in Their Own Land Hopefully you can see by um, Al Arlie, Ru Arlie Russell ha Hoschild, Hoschild and this book is really good as well I also finished it pretty quick um, we just had to re read a couple chapters but it was really really good Actually, no, we read all of this, sorry. Um, and basically, Arlie is an ethnographer, I believe, from Berkeley. And she travels to Louisiana, Mississippi, and a couple other, like, very red, very Republican states that have really bad pollution. And um, kind of interview people on their views of Trump, on their views of government regulation. And it's really interesting. It She has this main idea called the great paradox of how a lot of these white working class people who live in louisiana that has almost the worst pollution i think out of every single state in the u.s and yet they are voting for less government regulation um, more big business and it, it just seems to her paradoxical because their land is being ruined by these oil companies yet they're still you know what i mean so it's a very interesting phenomenon and she includes a lot of you know individual stories of these people and i think it does a pretty good job of showing us like a, a more human view of the trump supporter and of the this you know hard working white working class person but also definitely brings up some of the issues that these people might not have thought of um you know, coming from a red state, but I just think it's really interesting. So again, if you're interested in politics and in environmental science, um, or just like environmental protection policies and things like that, I would definitely recommend this book. But yeah, so these are two books that I definitely wanted to mention that I read in class that I, I really enjoyed. So I know a lot of you guys enjoy my book reviews, but I'd just don't know when I would have the time to do a consolidated one. I will try, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a random mix, and um, I tried to do it soft spoken because I haven't done a soft spoken one in forever. But yeah, um, keep requesting ideas down below, and maybe I'll be able to do one of them. I don't want to promise anyone anything because just the way my schedule is right now. It is very hectic and very soon in May is going to be my busiest month. I have a ton of stuff going on in May. So I just hope that you guys bear with me. Um, thanks for sticking with me anyways. And I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.